All right, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video, the AD Lab. This one will be pretty exciting. We're expanding on what we did in the last video where we actually used some LMNR poisoning in order to grab some hashes and then we use Hashcat to crack them in the case of some weak passwords. Now we're expanding on that, like I said, in this video. So let's get right into it. What's up guys, this is Ryan from Elevate Cyber. Now, how are we expanding on it, you might ask? Well, like I mentioned in the last video, you don't always have to go to the lengths of actually cracking these hashes. Uh, you can actually just pass them or utilize them to do other things without even having to crack them in the first place because Windows relies pretty heavily on hashes for various things. So what we're going to do in this video is we're basically just going to be doing SMB relay attacks here. And the way we do that is pretty similar to the last video. We will be using Responder, but we're going to be making uh, some changes to the configuration file. So if you look right here, you got the responder.conf. We're going to edit that file. And the changes we're going to make is we're going to turn off SMB and we're going to turn off HTTP because we don't need these servers to start because we're actually going to be using a uh, impacket tool called NTLM. Relay X in order to do the second part. So responder will be doing the initial part and then it will send it, you know, to relay it to the target server, use those credentials, try and dump the SAM, which is basically like the Etsy shadow file for Windows. So we're going to be carrying out this attack against local accounts, but this is very prevalent and very relevant to attacking Windows, you know, Active Directory domains. Um, so keep that in mind. This is by no means um, just something that you would do against local accounts. Um, it, you do do the attack against a local account in order to get it to work, but this is very relevant in an AD network. That's basically what I'm trying to stress there. Hopefully that made sense to you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically run it similar to before. Now, in my case, the interface I'm doing this on is ETH0. In your case, it might be different. So just check your network information to see which uh, interface, network interface, uh, you want to be listening on with Responder. So I can close that one out. And I'll just go ahead and run it with these flags here. And what you'll notice is the server's HTTP server is off because of our configuration file, right? And the auth proxy and SMB server are also off. It's listening for events. Now, the second thing that we're going to need to do is we are going to need to start NTLM Relay X. Now, one of the things that it requires is the target you need to put in a file. So let's just go and create a file in dev SHM for this purpose here called it target.txt. And uh, all it's going to have is the IP address that we want to try this attack against, like when we actually relay it, right? So what's happening here? Responder is going to you know, basically do what it did before when the user types in uh, a share that doesn't exist, responder is going to be able to grab its information. And then this relayer is going to relay, you know, like once responder grabs the hashes, NTLM relay will then relay those, uh, the hash to the server that we specify here. I want to run this against the Windows Server 2016 box. So I will specify in my case, the IP uh, you know, the dot 20 address here. So that's why I have that here. Now, one thing to note is that you can't do this against the same server. So say that I am logged into the server 2016 box and I, you know, you know what, I'll just, I'll just show you demo it live. But basically if I try to do this and type in some invalid share while on the 2016 box, Basically, there's uh, security protections in place to prevent this from working. Now, before we go right into demoing this, um, I'm going to show you something on the end map side to determine whether this exploit will be possible or not on the target server. Now, let's go ahead, since we have this, let's go ahead and run the NTLM relay X command here. This is what we're going to run here, dash TF, give it the targets file, or in my case, it's target.txt. And we'll say SMB2 support because we're going to do this attack against SMB version 2. Of course, if you see that they're using SMB version 1, that's a vulnerability just straight up so you can exploit them there. So keep that in mind. We'll run it as is. 
And now we see that the servers have started and it's waiting on the connections. Now, when it comes to the MMAP part, right, if you run uh, against the target server, so in this case against the Windows 2016 server box on port 445, you can run a script in Nmap, and if you run default scripts, it will run this. It's called SMB2 security mode. So we're going to give that a minute to run because there's a particular piece of information that we're looking for here to confirm that we can actually pull off a uh, SMB relay attack in this environment. So this is what we're looking for here. Message signing enabled but not required. Now, if you're setting this up on your domain and you do what I did and set up a Windows Server 2016 box, by default, it will say message signing enabled and required. If you see this, it will prevent you from being able to successfully conduct this attack. Uh, you just have to change some settings in the um, group policy in order to do that. And so... What that means is that, hey, if we want to secure this server, if we want to figure out how do we mitigate this vulnerability, basically you just got to edit the group policy and make it so that, uh, I believe it's the group policy, uh, and make it so that um, the message signing is required. And I'll prevent this. So with that information in mind, we have both Responder and NTLMX, or NTLM Relay X running. So let's say that we're logged in. So, so there's two boxes here we need to conduct this attack. We have the server and then some client on the domain in this case, right? So like I said, we got to make sure that the account that we uh, conduct this attack against is a local admin on our target server because it needs to have access to the SAM in order to be able to dump the SAM successfully, right? So for example here, we can log into misconfig because remember the misconfiguration of the misconfig account is that it's an administrator on the Windows 2016 server. So I can just log into this account on a client because, you know, that's how Active Directory works. I can log into any, pretty much any of the accounts on any of the boxes. So if I log into this account here, and hopefully I typed this in right, I did. What you can see is if I just type something that doesn't exist, some share that is, you know, the wrong name here. We should see when we go here is, first of all, it sees that, uh, you know, it grabbed this attempt, this incorrect attempt here to access the share. It poisoned it using LOMNR, just like before. And now you look here, you see, sometimes you get these errors and sometimes you don't. It's kind of weird. It's kind of a mixed bag, but it still worked because it says here, dumping local SAM hashes and here are all of the hashes. And these hashes are for the local accounts on this Windows Server 2016 box. So we have the administrator hash, uh, a guest account hash, default account hash. So there we go. We've successfully done this. Now, let me show you what would happen if we tried to conduct this against the same server that we run it on, okay? So I am logged in to the administrator account, or at least I can go ahead and log in to the administrator account on the server, right? Because remember, we're relaying to this same server. There is a uh, security measure in place to prevent this from working successfully. So if I tried to access some share that doesn't exist here, you know, you'll, you'll still get this part, right? But now... If you come over here, even though you see here that uh, it did poison it with LLMNR, it actually fails to authenticate to that server because it's the same server. So if I logged into this administrator account, once again on, say, this box over here, the client, or basically any box that is not the same box that we're relaying to, we will be able to dump the SAM. Uh, so long as it's an, an admin on that account, and it is, so we'd be able to dump the SAM in that case. So just something to keep in mind, something that I learned along the way, I wanted to relay to you guys. So hopefully this was helpful uh, in this short video here. If so, let me know um, down in the comment section below if you have any questions. And yeah, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button as well, It'll certainly help me out in the algorithms. And yeah, if you wanna get caught up on this series, the Active Directory pen testing series, go ahead and check out the videos on screen right now. I'll see you guys right over there. Thanks for watching.